just woken up. I've gotten up. I was getting starting to get ready for the day. I was putting something on in the background and I came across Barbecue Chillin's edit of this and I started watching it and I'm like, oh, my God, Foodie Beauty's drunk and she's having chicken. So I decided to watch this. Now, I don't know what to expect. I know that she's live right this second, um, but I'm keen. We knew that we knew that takeaway was coming. We knew the takeaway was coming. But I want to hear the reasonings and the justifications because this sounds nuts. And I do like a little sign up in the corner. What the, what's going on? Are they are they watching their predicted income from the back end of YouTube um in the, on the YouTube thing what's it called I can't remember what it's called your YouTube when you've got your YouTube channel YouTube studio and it doesn't look good so now we're doing some crazy content to get views okay all right I'm here for it let's go Uh, all right, so what do I have? This is roasted chicken, which is basically fried chicken, but like on steroids. Halal chickens are not really literally on steroids. Um, she she must have found out that roasted does not mean healthier. I think she's now seen since the reactors and some of the um, archive channels actually informed her that it is not healthier than um, deep fried chicken. It is um, actually probably worse. Um... She now realizes that. Now, I find this a very, very odd choice considering she was so, so sick over the fried chicken skins in Thailand. She was never, ever going to have potato corner ever again. Now, this looks like a very potato corner-esque type meal. Um, interesting choice, but okay. It, at least the portion for her anyway doesn't look too insane, but this is what we saw her eat on camera. But anyway, let's get into it. That's the beauty of halal meat. You should try it out. They don't pump their chickens with anything. Okay? So, we have an Aussie cola, which is a Middle Eastern cola from Saudi Arabia. Shout out. So, she managed to get herself a full sugar cola when she had an, an absolute tanty the other day trying to convince Sala to get her a low sugar Oreo Zero Coke. What did she do to get this meal? What did she do? How big was the tanty? Did she lie on the floor and throw her feet around? What happened for her to get Sala to say yes to ordering this meal? Because 10 days in seems like a very odd time to decide to have a cheat meal. Wouldn't it be after seven days? Like a week. I've been doing this a week and then I get a cheat meal. But seven, a week and then three days seems like a very odd time to have a cheat meal. Mmm. Saudi Arabia. We have some coleslaw. We have some two chicken breasts. Mmm. Salah so doesn't like the breasts. Uh, yes, wait your turn. Wait your turn. Is it breasts in general or just yours? Or is that just something he says because, like, breasts are a triggering... Maybe breasts is a triggering word for him. I don't know. Maybe he feels a little bit self-conscious about his own. Yeah. And we have some giant potato slices. Mm. And it's delicious. So let's dig in. Let's dig in. Bismillah. Beauty bites. I love coleslaw. My table's creaking because I'm fat. What do you want? Garlic sauce. Today's cheat day. This is what makes it cheat day, though, foodie? Do you just decide I am so sick of cooking and eating healthy food? I'm just gonna have a a day where I eat whatever I want and just hope and just hope that my ED brain just does not rabbit hole back into disordered eating and eating whatever I want and midnight snacking and inging. And just hope that in seven or in the last ten days, I've managed to cure my ED that has prevailed for the last forty years. Is that what we're hoping? I think that's what we're hoping. And do we not take into consideration what this might do to our sugars if we've been eating fairly okay for the last seven days, how her body might respond? 
Uh, I wonder if she's going to start shitting through the eye of a needle soon because her tummy's been upset. So we'll see. The crispiest chicken in the world. Mm, is it? You've tried all the chicken so you'd know. Gross. Ew. I ate a bone. Oh. Mm. I'm like the girl I used to work with. When I used to work a normal job, I used to work with this girl. She used to eat bones. It was quite unsettling. Foodie, you stick your fingers in your armpits and smell it. That's unsettling. Somebody eating a bone, that's it's food. Like some, some cultures eat the cartilage. They eat the whole thing. Finger sniffing from your armpits, that's unsettling. Your feet are unsettling. Let's not go into a rant about what's unsettling on other people eyelids your fat eyelids and i may have mentioned what happened did sala put your lipstick on you today because it looks like you've been making out with a mirror that wants to share this with me but it's my cheat day i have a bit of a beef i have to discuss oh beef i'm tired yeah you're a 400 pound diabetic who's only just started exercising and you've gone onto a new healthy eating plan. Your body's adjusting. You do maybe 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day when you used to do zero. Your body is like, holy shit, this is different. You're going to be tired. And if you're not just lying on your couch all day um, and you're actually getting up and doing some chores, you're going to be tired. Your body's changing. What do you expect? I can't eat the spoon. D yeah, it's face messy. plant it. Oh, that's that's really good. Mm. I'm tired of trying so hard. Don't I look exhausted? Like, I'm exhausted. I, I feel like I'm trying so hard to be a... Demure. What? What? No, who, who asked her to be demure? Did Sala ask her to be demure? We just wanted to eat with the mouth closed and not drip sauce down her face. I don't know if that's asking her to be prim and proper and like from old ye oldie 19th century England. We just wanted to chew with the mouth closed. Is that demure? I just thought that was like basic common manners. What? What? No. And I feel a lot of pressure to be like, Excuse me. It feels literally like, I don't know, but I just need a day of like letting it out, you know? So here we are. But nobody's asking you to do that. We just don't want to see the food. We just want you to eat like an adult, like a grown up adult who eats in public. I'd, I've never seen anybody in public eat the way she does unless it's intentional. And we just, Sal, Sala must have said something. He must have said, you must get your shit together. Pull it together and start acting like a proper human adult because what you do farting and burping and belching and, and eating like a pig online is embarrassing for everyone. I need you to stop. And the eating sounds drive everyone crazy. But who's asking you to be like all napkin dabby and please, can you pass the butter? Nobody. That's pressure you're putting on yourself. We just don't want to see you eat with your mouth open. Simple as that. And and wood chipping fries into your mouth like a toddler. I'm going to hurry and eat this because it's getting on my nerves. It's very um, messy. Nobody likes your food. Look at the size of this. Is this yeah. a GMO? It only looks giant in comparison to Salah's mangled meat. That's it. Everything looks big compared to that. I know. What do you know? What do you know? You guys would like me to go back to being a total mess. Go back to... I'm still a total mess. We know. We, we, we know. You are still a total mess, but you're just total mess with the most annoying sidekick in the world now. And everything else you do in your life is fake. Your marriage is fake. 
You're now clearly living on the third floor. When you opened the blinds the other day, you were not up on the 11th or 12th or whatever fucking floor you're supposed to be on. You were clearly on the second or the third floor. So the mystery solved. So many things about your life is fake. But you're feeling the pressure of not eating with your mouth open and not having sauce on your face and not licking your fingers and rubbing them onto the couch. That is pressure, but none of the other fake stuff you do is pressuring you. Okay, very strange. Why do you hide your bodily functions from us now? Why don't you fight on camera? You guys, I'm in the Middle East. You've been fighting for months. You were fighting in Thailand. You're fighting in Kuwait. You said to Salah, I will fart on camera again if I want to. That was when you had the fight because he cheated on you with Kybella. You said that in the car. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Do you want me to get arrested for public indecency? Yeah, a little bit. Yes. Oh, I get it. She's trying to do a bit. She's trying to be funny. She's very swollen. Look at her face. Look at her face here. She looks very swollen. She's been picking out. She started picking out before today. She's gotten puffy again. What did you have? You had ramens last night, didn't you? This is not the first cheat day. <gasps> oh, my God, foodie. Oh, well, no surprise. Do you want some chicken or something? Didn't I not just give you a piece of my chicken? So ungrateful. <sighs> I'm in a weird mood today. Yeah, we know. We can see. Of course, You're... I'm gonna give her more chicken. Fucking weirdo. Why? Because she controls my life. It's as simple as that. That was a hair. Yeah, you call me bald, but I sure have enough hair in my food. It's probably Julia's hair. Or one of Salah's beard hairs. Or one of Salah's hair. You're not the only person who has hair in that house. It's more likely Julia's hair than yours. <laughs> Why am I in such a weird mood? Did I, take I don't know. Down? Did you drink? Uh, anyway. Did you get into the vanilla schnapps or the cooking essence? Or have you been sniffing some of your oven cleaner? You are in a very strange mood today. I don't know whether this is a bit or you've had a fight or you're sleep deprived, or you're all hyped up on ramens, but you're acting real weird. <sighs> oh, there's a sex sound. I call this girl dinner. It's exactly not girl dinner. Girl dinner is like a weird plate of snack foods that you don't normally eat. Like say, for example, oh, I'm going to have dips and crackers for dinner. That's a girl dinner. I'm going to have snow peas, carrots and hummus for dinner. I'm going to have just a small weird appetizer or something very not meal-like. This is you having a mini binge. It's an inge-like food, but you're just having it in a smaller quantity online. After this finished, I'd say she probably went and finished another two pieces of chicken and had some more fries while they were still warm. But this is not a girl dinner. Stop it. So it's my cheat day. And by the way, I mean... I wouldn't give her a cheat day. I'd give her maybe a cheat meal. Um, it's too soon for her to let cracks like this creep in, but they crept in a couple of days ago when she was buying the big Doritos and she was chucking a tandy for the Coke Zero and it was the no, the no, the no, the no. You knew she was starting to get like frustrated by white knuckling it for these days, but she hasn't built up enough emotional resistance enough of, an, of emotional callus to let stuff like this in because then it's just going to be like a, a domino effect of little things here and there and it's just going to go back but you know that's what we expected she just lasted a lot longer than i anticipated i'm sitting here eating chicken skin with you fine people here's a way to feel guilty about your cheat meal or with, when you go to order something like this foodie sit down Work out how many calories you burnt in the last 10 minutes when you were walking. Find out how much your chicken is. 
and do the maths. This chicken may take you three hours of walking to burn off when you are already trying to burn off the excess of the last 40 years. So maybe do some maths before you order your food, just just to give you a good idea of what you're putting into your body because you can't afford to eat food like this, even in small, small portions, because it's going to stop putting you into deficit. And deficit is what you need to get the weight off and to get your health into balance with your diabetes. But anyway, that's just common sense from Cookie. Ask me in an hour. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is ED talking. This is that looks so dry. The chicken skins in Thailand were toxic, but the chicken skin here doesn't seem to affect me as bad. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. But you were sick when you were in Thailand, apparently, and you were binge eating on them. That you were buying a lot of them, and it was nothing but chicken skin, no breast or no nothing else with it. But you had an upset tummy because you were sick. Does that mean in the last couple of days you've had this already and you know it's not going to affect you? Or are you going on the meals that you've had previously when you weren't sick and you and it didn't affect you at that time? How do you know that this is not going to make you run straight to the toilet and just Niagara fall it? How do you know? I've got a feeling she's very confident that this chicken's not going to do anything to her. I don't know why, but I ain't mad about it. So I, just, I don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm trying to be somebody I'm not. Yeah. Um, a married Muslim living in Kuwait to a dude that doesn't love her, trying to force away an ED with just a treadmill and sure will without any professional help. No friends and family for support. No control over your money. No control over your channel. No control over your chat basically no control over your life and you gave some of that away to your fake husband yeah you you are pretending to be someone you're not but okay we've been saying that for ages or do you mean being demure because we know you're not demure or cutesy someone who should be acting 40 Chantel, look you're so far from 40 we're not talking about the way you dress and the way you do your makeup and all that stuff because that's normal. Like you, you, you that's that's your personal taste. Because I have that same problem. I probably go a little bit too fun and out there and not age appropriate with some of my hair and clothing choices and stuff like that. But that's my personal style taste. That's fine. We're talking about your behaviour. You act like a toddler. Like not even like a, t a teenager and a toddler. The things that you do are so immature, even for someone in their 20s or their late teens or their early 30s. It's unbelievable. We're not even aiming for 40. We're just aiming for a 10-year-old with some table manners. That's where we want to get you to. For you to try and act like a Stepford wife, we know that's out of the realms of your capabilities. Nobody would ever expect that of you because we know it's not in you. We just want... One meal where we don't see sauce down your face and on your hijab. And every mouthful you make is crunching, munching, rolling around. You didn't, you haven't licked your fingers, which is fantastic. We know you're not demure. We know you don't have good table manners. We know you have to learn these things. But demure and you don't go hand in hand. And when nobody ever asked you to do it, you put that pressure on yourself. Someone who should, you know, be acting a certain way. Demure. No. Nobody asked you to be demure. And it's not helping that right now being demure is trending, you know? Eating with your mouth closed has never been trending. It's just basic home training. Get on board. Two, two. Good manners are fun. Good manners can be fun. They make people like you. They make people be able to eat around you. People enjoy meals with you. They don't give you shit. Just chew with your mouth closed. That's all we want. Oh, she dropped one. Yeah. Yep. Where's your other hand? Um, why is she using one hand this whole time? Is she really, is she, okay, so the hijab and eating with the, she's eating with her right hand. Is that the right one to eat with? I can't remember. But what is there something wrong with your other hand? Or is that holding on to the chicken under the 
table so Julia doesn't get it. Is that what that's doing? Okay. Anyway, Julia is not happy with the fact that Julia is I'm sorry, but that last bite looked like a fuck you bite. That looked like a I'm eating crunchy broasted chicken. Like she's taking that bite for Sala. Like, yeah, that's right. I got chicken. Fuck you. That's what that looked like. Oh, my God. I'm going to rewind it. Look, you look. The way she takes a bite. Or is that a fuck you to the haters? Yeah, I'm having a cheat meal. Bite me. Anyway. Watch. Fuck you. There, that was a fuck you bite. Oh, this has got some on the. Yeah. I'm happy. I just can't one of those you know i can't be we know you can't okay. nobody asked you to be who always acts feminine and woman like when when has she been look i'm sorry but in the last seven days i would never have gone and said gee She's acting very girly, whirly the last seven days. There's been such a dramatic change. What's going on? That's never crossed my mind once. All The only difference I've seen is that what she has showed us online, what she's eating, is smaller and nutritionally better. Not great, but better. And she's sweating and she's on the treadmill that is literally the only difference I've noticed in Foodie Beauty's behavior. I wouldn't say she's ultra feminine. I wouldn't say she's ultra demure. I wouldn't say that she's well-mannered or any of that. I would not have noticed a dramatic behavioral change. What the actual F is she talking about? This is a bit. This is a bit, I swear. This is this is for views. This is not real. This is, this is, has she been huffing oven cleaner? And excuse me, I'll have the salad. Salads make you shit. We know you gave up on salad a couple of days ago. We know this. One of the main reasons our relationship works, by the way. He likes the dark meat. I like the white meat. And he I doesn't say no. Last, if you had to fight over which kind of meat you like. We do fight over the kind of meats. He likes a breast and I like the wings. I've got to make sure he makes sure there's wings in the box. He likes the spicy. I like the original. I've got to make sure that there's enough original wings in the box. It is a task, you know. <laughs> right, enough. Chicken breast to go around, baby. Anyway, I'm happy. I just can't. Oh, my God. There she is. I think this is a neck bone or something. No, it's not. That's not what chicken necks look like, you idiot. Tell me, tell me you don't cook and you don't know the chicken anatomy without telling me you don't cook. That is like the part of, that's like a Maryland without the wing on it. That's not the neck. The neck has got so many teeny tiny little bones in it and hardly any flesh. It's mostly cartilage and fat, idiot. Eating like a total sow. Yeah, we know. Oink, oink. Do I care what you think? No. Yeah, you do. That's why you said that. Ow. A chicken bone poked me in the nose. Oh, no. Is it demure to chew on chicken neck? No. Oh, she's trying to go viral. She's trying to go viral. Oh, foodie. This is embarrassing, hun. Hun, it doesn't matter how many times you say Jamura during a video and how much you bitch and moan about not being Jamura. Oh, that's embarrassing. She's trying to go viral because of the demure trend. Oh, my God. Stop it. You should have just stood, stood, stuck to the treadmill thing. People like that. Not Sala playing the Yamana, but the, the treadmill thing would have got traction. You had to give it more time. This is not going to do it, girl. You're not going to get a blow-up video from this. Mm-mm. <laughs> Do I care? If you ask me right now, no. If you ask me in an hour, I'll probably change my mind. Because I can't consistently. I have a question. Why is she eating the crumbs off the plastic where there's clearly still a lot of crunchy crumbs on the chicken bone? I don't understand what's going on here. My mind. In one place. 
I don't know. I'm probably gonna get out of roll or something. Anyway. That was a delicious cheat meal. So, thanks for listening to me vent. Mm. I feel like I have a right to do that sometimes. Mm. You know, I mean, we all have to let it out. Can't you, can't you not do it on camera and just do it to Salah? Because that's what he's there for, that ultra, ultra Superman, the bestest, handsomest husband in the world. Isn't he there to vent to? Can't you vent to your bestie instead of doing this on camera where people are just going to cut it down and it makes you look like a fool, makes you look strange, makes people think you're affected by mind-altering substances. It's not funny. It's definitely not demure. It's definitely not cute. It's just strange and weird, and people are going to think you're strange and weird for filming something like this and putting it up. Can't you just be like, Salah, I want chicken, and here is why. Try try that. If you hold it in, you're probably just going to explode later mm. and make a bigger mess mm. than what you originally intended yeah. to do. If you want more like We're not your therapist. We are not your friends. This is not the place to put those emotions, but okay. Lessons like that. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, my God. This was supposed to be a life lesson. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off, foodie. Take your chicken bones. Take your rest of your 17-piece meal and fuck off. That's n you, no lessons from you. The only lesson is, is do not do what she does. I got you. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's my cheat meal. That's my cheat. I'm on a cheat day. I forgot about that. Oh, so look at a smile. This is the smile of someone that's like saying, I can eat more shit today. She's planning in her brain right now desserts, her dinner tonight, snacks. She's probably going to have donuts. She's probably going to have chips. She's probably going to have full sugar soft drink all day. I see a pizza in her future or a burger or something. She's like, yeah, I get to eat crap all day. And I don't have to get on the treadmill. I wonder if the treadmill's taken off the cards on cheat day. Oh, I want to know more about your cheat day there, foodie. A cheat day. I've been cooking nonstop for like 10 days. Oh! Something I never do. I called it. I called it. Did I not say? Did I say this in one of No, I said this on one of my member videos. I put in all the reasons and this was going to be one of the reasons why she's like, yeah, I can have a cheat day. I've been doing this for long enough. I've been eating nothing but healthy. I've been cooking for a week and a half now. I deserve a cheat day. I deserve to have something disgusting, which makes me believe she doesn't have true intentions when it comes to her lifestyle change because she's changing because she needs to because her health is in such bad shape and she's got the diabetes. You know what I mean? Like she's in peril. So a cheat day like this doesn't really factor in, you know, because you have to change the way you eat to basically save your life this is the food that she prefers that's why she runs back to it mm. and yes i did say i plan on maybe cooking five to six nights a week and i'm overdue for my cheat day of ordering out <coughs> there she is oh. chicken bone earlier. yeah mm -hmm. all right <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the future if I don't choke on my chicken bone. Bye. That was weird. That was strange. That was Foodie Beauty's cheat day thing. I think she's trying to go viral with the Jamua thing. I don't, I don't know what that was. Put in the comments what you think is going on there. There's got to be some theories. There's got to be some ideas because that was just fucking odd. Weird as shit. But I knew it was coming and the justifications and the excuse. I've been doing this for so long now. I deserve it. Well, called it. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this one, give me a like. If you didn't like it, then hit the don't like. It's it's worth the same to me. But anyway, do what you want. Comment. Tell me what you think is going on in Foodie's brain. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye.